it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and passing the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. This project scenario is based on the Monker Games case study. Monker Games wants to set up a real-time analytics platform for the new game. The new platform must meet the technical requirements. Which combination of Google technologies will meet all of their requirements? So it's fairly straightforward. The end goal is to have a real-time analytics platform, but it should meet the technical requirements that were specified in the case study. So let's go let's explore the case study. The technical requirements for the game analytics platform has about five sub requirements. Let's go through each of them and map it to a analysis of it. First one is it should dynamically scale up or down based on game activity. So what does that imply? We will need to have auto scaling resources, right? No pre provision. We don't want to in advance of the deployment decide exactly how many VMs or how much memory and all of that is going to be required. Let it scale up and down based on the load increasing or decreasing. Point two says the pro we have to process incoming data on the fly directly from the game service. This basically means that we have to handle streaming data. So data is not completely all available before we start processing. As we are processing, new data will come in and we have to be able to handle that. And therefore, we have to choose a solution that suits or can process streaming data. Point three requires us that we process data that arrives late because of slow mobile networks. So the data coming in is not coming in in absolute real time, right? There are different um, users of our uh, game, different players, and they might have different bandwidths, they might be closer to the servers, and therefore the timing of their data arrival could be asynchronous, right? It could be off time. So we have to be able to accommodate that kind of data that comes out of time. We have to allow queries to access at least 10 terabytes of historical data. So essentially we need a highly scalable analytics engine, right? We also have in point one that the resources have to auto scale. So it has to be an automatically scaling analytics engine. Point five says that we have to process files that are regularly uploaded by users, mobile devices. So as the players are playing the game, they might have a lot of files being uploaded. So it has to go to some place. There should be some amount of storage that is allocated for it. But even there, we obviously don't want to pre-allocate a certain amount of disk. We should ideally have some kind of elastic file storage that can grow depending on the amount of data that is required to be stored. Right? We also want to process these files as soon as they come. Right? So some way in which, as soon as a file comes in, we have some kind of event that starts processing that uh, data file. So with these requirements analyzed, now let's go look at the options. Option A suggests that we use Kubernetes engine, Cloud PubSub and Cloud SQL. Now Cloud SQL is an OLTP. It is suitable for transaction processing. It is not ideal for analytics. Also, if you read the rest of the case study, you'll find that currently MySQL is a bottleneck in the system. Right? We don't want to load it further with the requirement for analytics. So the Cloud SQL option is just not going to work for us. Now Cloud pops up is a good choice for scaling and absorbing sudden spikes in your data. If there's suddenly a lot of users come onto a lot of players start playing, Cloud pops up can absorb that kind of growth right? and make it easier for later stages in the data pipeline to work with uh, the data that is arriving. So Cloud pops up is a good choice in 
this requirement set. Kubernetes is good for scaling services. Right? However, it still requires a certain amount of administrative tasks. So it falls somewhere closer to an IaaS rather than a serverless or a PaaS service. So for the two options, Kubernetes and Cloud SQL, option A is not recommended and therefore we will eliminate option A. Option B suggests that we use Cloud Dataflow, Cloud Storage, Cloud PubSub and BigQuery. Let's go look at each of those and see if they suit our requirement. Cloud Dataflow is a serverless scalable data processing service. It can process both batch data and streaming data. So our requirement in terms of data processing for it to be scalable and serverless is met. And so also the requirement that we process streaming data. So Cloud Dataflow works for us. Cloud storage is a serverless object storage. Right? It's a blob storage and it's able to store files. So as files are being uploaded by the users, this can automatically scale to exabytes of data. So there's no pre-provisioning required here again. You just use a, a bucket and put data into it, the files into it uh, automatically. It will automatically accommodate that. So cloud storage works well for us so far. But we also need automatic processing. This is a feature supported by cloud storage. When a new object, a new file arrives, it is possible to throw a, uh, an event that can be caught by some other part of the system that is listening. Right? In our case, PubSub can be an endpoint for that event. So as soon as the file is uploaded, an event can go to PubSub saying, hey, there's a new file and here is that file, which can then start a processing of that file. So the combination of cloud storage and PubSub works for us. We already saw that PubSub is also very suitable for this kind of requirement where we need a huge or we need to accommodate huge growth suddenly. There might be sudden spikes in player activity and the system should be able to handle that. So cloud PubSub also works well for us. Finally, BigQuery. BigQuery we already know is a highly scalable serverless analytic solution which is what we want. So we have the ability with this set of requirements to absorb huge growth. We can work on uh, streaming data. The PubSub allows us to uh, absorb huge growth and the BigQuery allows for large amounts of data being analyzed. So all things considered, this is a great option for us and therefore we are going to retain this for now until we also check other options. Option C suggests that we use a combination of Cloud SQL, Cloud Storage, Cloud PubSub and Cloud Dataflow. So this is very similar to what we saw in the previous option, except that instead of using BigQuery there, we are using Cloud SQL here. To go over the same points again, Cloud SQL is a transaction processing engine, not too suitable for analytics and it has limited scalability. We also know that for Mountcore games, their existing MySQL setup has not really scaled. Right? So Cloud SQL could use MySQL or Postgres or some of the other uh, newer databases that are being uh, included as part of Cloud SQL. But it still is not going to scale to the uh, kind of analytics we want to do that BigQuery would be a better choice for. We already saw that Cloud Dataflow is very good for this. It's serverless, it's scalable, and it can process streaming data. Cloud Storage, again, it is serverless scalable file storage, which also can send file notifications to say something like PubSub. And PubSub can absorb growth spikes. So for the most part, three out of the four options are suitable for us, but, but Cloud SQL fails us completely for this requirement. And therefore, we will have to eliminate option C. Option D suggests that we use Cloud PubSub, Compute Engine, Cloud Storage, and Dataproc. 
Two of these PubSub and Cloud Storage we saw are suitable for our requirement. Now let's look at Compute Engine and Data Proc. Compute Engine is an infrastructure as a service, which means that it will require more administration. But we don't want that approach when it comes to Mount Call Games, right? We want to ideally choose serverless solutions. So Compute Engine is not suitable for us. Cloud Data Proc, though it can process streaming data, it is ideally suited when you are lifting and shifting a set of Hadoop or Spark jobs onto Google Cloud. Here, we don't have that baggage with us, right? We can start afresh. And therefore, Cloud Data Proc with being less of a serverless option where we need to make some choices on the kind of VM that we run and to manage a little more is not the ideal solution for us, especially considering we have data flow as an option. So with two of those options not working for us, we will also have to eliminate option D. Now considering all of them, the best solution for us is to use a combination of Cloud Dataflow, Cloud Storage, Cloud PubSub, and BigQuery, which is option B. If you thought that content was great, you absolutely must check out all our new upcoming content. So subscribe right away. Mm -hmm.